The Joining Forces Africa now wants the government to develop and implement policies and laws that protect children from harmful practices and allocate cost budgets for child protection. The group is advocating for a strength legal and justice system to protect the rights of children, especially girls, and take decisive actions against those who perpetrate violence against children. At the same time, they want challenges that perpetuate viola violation of children's rights such as gender inequality, discrimination, poor access to education and poverty tackled while involving young people and girls in policy and decision-making process by ensuring that their voices are heard and considered in all aspects touching on their lives. This was revealed during a roundtable breakfast that was held here in Nairobi, Kenya was COVID when children were supposed to be, were, were forced to go back home. All edu education institutions were closed down and children were forced to go home. Some people took advantage of that. So that has contributed a lot to, towards that increase. There are other, there are other issues that also because I think of governments, apart from Kenya, I think that has been very, very strong on that. We haven't, some, some of the governments have policies that we have said but the ex execution of those policies have also been very weak. Well, for that good question, uh, I can start and then my colleagues can add. At least from where we sit as terrorist homes, uh, for example, I think two years ago, we developed manuals for training of children and creating awareness in schools eh, on issues to do with sex and uh, sexual exploitation of children, but also online sexual exploitation. I would like to say that, remember, sexual exploitation online eventually it can end up offline. Mm -hmm. So we need to be able to speak to both eh, when we talk about it. Because at the end, there is, going, there is likely to be physical contact. And even where there is no physical contact, it's almost like physical contact. And that is a, a big risk. So what we have done so far as Terrorist Homes is to, to, build, to uh, develop those manuals, to create training activities, to liaise with organizations like Childline Kenya with the 116, and to try to create a lot of awareness. Now, what can we do as joining forces? I think we have a big opportunity with all the directors here. And remember, these are regional directors. So we're actually looking at it at a higher level. There is all the joining forces activities happening in each of the countries. And the idea is that we create linkages from the countries to the region. I was going to speak to this actually in the closing remarks, but maybe it's good I see this. Um, and one of the key topics that I would foresee is actually OSEC, online sexual exploitation, because there's a Child safeguarding is our core business. And to this, we promote child participation in all our programs and our, in our projects. Um, and and our, our uh, doors are open for children and caregivers. And uh, we also follow um, whistleblowing systems uh, that any child can, 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 can send anonymously uh, any, any concerns of child safeguarding issues. So we have zero tolerance to child safeguarding in our organization. So, um, so we, we, we take this seriously uh, as, as a joining forces and also as a Swiss children's villages.